Today, Fun with Flowers and Jay is brought to you by Kreisel USA and Design Master Color Tool. Welcome to the world of flowers. I'm Jay Schwanke. I've spent my entire life surrounded by flowers. As a fourth generation florist, flowers have been a part of my daily life for as long as I can remember. Now I'm on a mission to share my knowledge and love of flowers with everyone I meet. Growing, picking, arranging, designing, and sharing. It's all fascinating to me because I love flowers. Anything flowers and everything flowers. Welcome to Fun with Flowers and Jay. Today on Fun with Flowers and Jay, we're featuring some tips from our new book, Bloom 365. And make sure you check out the variant covers. There's 12 beautiful flower covers for this book, and you can pick your favorite flower. It's available now in the Ubloom store. Here's an informative tip about soaking flower foam. There's two different methods I always see people use. One, we float soak our foam, placing it in the water and allowing gravity to naturally take it down under the water. You'll notice that it doesn't take very long. And what's happening is, as it soaks up, it's forcing the air out of the block. You'll notice that it changes colors as it's completely saturated. And now, our block should be completely soaked. Many times, I see people trying to hurry it along and pushing the block underneath the water. They'll push it under until the bubbles stop. The problem with this is that water's rushing in from all sides of the foam. And they're in a big hurry, but they're really causing damage to the foam and to the flowers that will go into it. Both of these blocks look alike. We'll cut this one down the center and there's solid saturation. We'll cut this one down the center and look, we have areas where it didn't soak up. Don't force your flower foam underwater Float soak your flower foam. Here's a color tip for fixing your dusty miller. Dusty miller is a very popular foliage and it's beautiful and velvety and has a wonderful white cast. But sometimes we have a beautiful leaf that might have a stain on it or a crack that isn't as pretty as the others. Enter Design Master Color Tool. A little bit of flat white spray paint and we can cover up any blemishes. This little dusty miller now is incognito. Here's a fun way to recycle a heart-shaped candy box. Once the candy's all gone, you can fill it with little succulents. What a great present that is, a heart-shaped box full of succulents. 